Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I will be going through my washing routine. So what I wash every day to try and keep the washing to minimal on the weekend. And hopefully give you some motivation and some tips along the way. And as promised, this is in collab with Queen Mama Bear TV. Let me know there's been so supportive of my channel. She's always there watching my videos and leaving lovely comments. Go over and check her channel out. You won't be disappointed. She does grocery hauls, she does cleaning motivation, declutter motivation, laundry motivation and decorate with me. So please do go over there and check her out and let her know that I sent you over. Now this weekend is going to be a big weekend because I need to strip the bed so I want to make sure that I get as much done during the week as possible. All right let's get into it. So on Monday I got the kids shorts and put them through a wash because they're a bit harder material. I know I won't have any clothes like that for the rest of the week to wash. The clothes they wore yesterday I'll just double check them to make sure that they haven't got anything on there that could stain. And I just give their white socks a scrub with the sard soap and same with the t-shirt. So on Tuesday I realised I still had some clothes out on the line. So instead of leaving them for the weekend and let it piled up, I got it done while I was waiting for the kids to go to sleep. So tell me, do you try to get your washing done during the week so there's not so much on the weekend? Or do you just leave it all for the weekend and just spend one day getting it all done? Let me know down in the comments. So when I iron my nice tops or my dresses, I hang them over the end of the ironing board so that I don't crease the other side when I'm ironing it. So this is when I normally do a load of washing at night during the week. When the kids are gone to sleep, I come down, put a load on, I go out and clean up and by then the washing is done and I can go put it out on the line. So today I just put some sard on the white socks the kids wore today and I did a load of face washes and the hand towel that needs to be washed because the kids are running out of face washes. So on Wednesday when I went to get the clothes out of the washing machine to put them on the line I realised I hadn't actually put a load on so I will be doing it early in the morning. So on Thursday, the first load of washing I'm doing is some work clothes. I'll go through and check all their pockets to make sure nothing's in there, but also shake them to double make sure that I haven't missed anything. The first load was done before the kids got up, so I went up and grabbed all their clothes from their bathroom and brought them down, and now I'm going to chuck a load in before they get up, and then I'll put them out in a line once the kids are ready for school. Now when I'm washing the kids clothes, I always make sure I go through their pockets and make sure there's nothing in there at all. Double check to make sure there's no messes on there so I don't have to wash the item twice. And turn them inside out so that they don't rub on each other and it saves the clothes wearing in the washing machine as well as when they're out in the line. If it's going to fade, it'll fade the inside the actual clothes rather than the outside. I also get the clothes out of the washing machine as soon as it's finished because if it's sitting there, it'll actually squash down on each other and cause the clothes to wrinkle. Now I did prep a load in the washing machine before I left in the morning so that when I got home I can just set it going while I'm getting dinner ready. So on Friday afternoon I got all the clothes off the line. I do try to fold these when I put them in the basket so there's not so many wrinkles on them which makes ironing a little bit easier. 
So I'll just take these upstairs and sit them near the couch. So when the kids go to bed at night and I'm waiting for them to go to sleep, I can just sit there, fold them all up, put the ironing in a pile for Sunday and put all the rest of the clothes away. Tell me, do you still iron your clothes? And if so, do you have a particular day that you do it on or do you just do it when you need to? Let me know down in the comments. So Saturday is a pretty busy day for us. The kids have got a lot of activities on, so I didn't get a lot done today. I just took all the dirty clothes from the kids' bathrooms downstairs and chucked a riding jacket in for a quick wash. So it's Sunday, we don't have a lot of clothes to wash, but I always wash the towels on Sunday and I have all the bedding that I wanna get washed as well. So we're going upstairs, finding any clothes that need to be washed and grabbing all the towels. Tell me, what do you use to keep your white clothes white? I've tried a lot of soakers in that and they don't seem to work as well as this Sard soap, especially for the kids' school socks. They just get so dirty that the only thing that seems to be working is this Sard soap. So let me know down in the comments what you use. Now I'm just changing over all the bedding, putting the dirty ones in the wash basket and put the new ones on because if I don't get it done now, I won't remember and then I'll be getting the kids ready for bed and having to do this as well. <laughs> When I do my washing, I always start with the towels, then I move on to the lights, and then the darks, and then the bedspreads, because they don't need ironing, so they can stay on the line. It won't take long to fold them up. Tell me, do you guys have an order in which you do your washing, or do you just do them in any order? So when I finish washing on a Sunday, I put my washing machine on a drum clean just to clean out anything that may be still in there. Now I've put the kids to bed, it's time to get onto the ironing. There's not a lot here, it's mainly all the towels and that that I need to fold up and get them all away.
When I do the t-shirts, I actually put my hands up there and get to the crease where the armpits are and try and put it straight so that when you iron it, it's actually nice and straight. Let me know what sort of videos you'd like to see next. Would you like just cleaning ones or cooking and cleaning ones? Grocery haul? Let me know down in the comments. So once the washing machine's finished doing the drum clean, I just get an old hand towel and wipe down the door as well as the seal just to get rid of all the excess water. And then I leave the door as well as the drawer ajar so that the air can flow through there and dry it out. I hope you enjoyed this laundry routine slash motivation. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.